Okay guys, I'm walking in Times Square, as you can see, with Robert, all right? And we did a video two years ago about protein, last time I was here. So we were talking about, do you remember what we were talking about? I don't remember. We talked about putting on muscle with keto. Right, and that's still a great subject to talk about. And yes, I am cold. Yes, girl is cold. I am all bundled up, right? But I thought it would be quite fitting to do a video in this crazy area because a lot of people, since Robert and I, <laughs> um, the, the last time we talked about uh, building muscle, we never, well, now's a good time to still reiterate two years later that you can build muscle on keto. 40 pounds. 20, he built 20 pounds, right? This guy, how tall are you again? 6'4. 6'4, right? This 235 pounds. This guy here is built like Adonis. Thank you. Yes. And we're the same age, okay? We're both built like Adonis. Oh I love my it. God. Absolutely. <laughs> so he's been doing keto the whole time. I'm doing keto the whole time. We both are a sight to be seen, to quote Louis Marco. It works. Listen to her. Yes. As we were right here in Times Square, as you guys can see. But uh, that's the whole thing. That your body is being preserved through using ketones rather than breaking down muscle to convert into glucose, which is called gluconeogenesis. I think it's getting a little too loud to do this little uh, lifestyle ketogenic vlog with Robert. We're going to Port Authority right now. Okay guys, um, yes, you don't need as much protein to be able to do a ketogenic protocol. You gotta digest it, your body has to create enzymes and peptides and pepsin and caloric acids to break down the proteins and have your body, whew, this is rough. Your body's gotta break it down, utilize it, and when you're insulin sensitive, now you can take just a little bit of insulin to do a big job, push those amino acids into the muscle cell without constantly being broken down by the need of using glucose. Okay guys, that's it. I'm walking in this chaos. I just wanted to give you guys a shout out. It's quite fitting that Robert and I are again in New York talking about our gains. So if you guys wanna learn more, or if you wanna watch, the reason why I'm in New, uh, New York this time is because I'm doing a seminar. You guys know I've been talking about that for the last couple weeks. First I went to South Africa. Then I went to Stockholm, Sweden. Now I'm in New York, yeah, and I'm not eating that, right? Um, now I'm in New York, and I'm in the big city, and I'm not eating an apple either. <laughs> A lot of you guys ask if you can eat apples on keto, no. Uh, but uh, if you wanna tune in, you can go to webinar, right? Even on the replay, for those who can't watch live, webinar.stephanieperson.com to watch the seminar that's November 12th in the big city, the Apple, Big Apple, or you can still get tickets, I'll probably turn it off by tomorrow morning, at stephanieperson.com. Peace out, guys. <laughs>